What's up, everybody? This is Air Creed Harry, and I'm here today looking for a structural engineer. That's right. I'm looking for a structural engineer who will work with me on approving this building method so people can build the same way I am around the country. And I'll give you a quick breakdown of how the system works so that you could tell me if you would approve it or not approve it. Again, if you're a structural engineer or you know someone who is, send them this video, please. So this is a prototype test dome I built. I had a failure because I didn't have my blower on and the weight made the dome collapse. But the building method is like this. I, uh, I use an air form. And in this case, I'm using Tyvek house wrap that I sew into an air form and inflate. Then what I do is I take this fiberglass mesh and I sew this into a dome form also and slip this on over the air form like a hat. And then this gets sprayed with cement. Uh, the first uh, coating is a, a latex based cement and uh, this entire fiberglass mesh gets covered at. So the fiberglass is used uh, to adhere so that the cement can adhere to something because the Tyvek is very slippery. And it also gives you reinforcing uh, material. So you'll have almost zero chance of any cracking happening on the inside because this mesh would be the inner layer. So this is the inside of this test dome. The walls come out perfectly smooth, which is what's great about using the Tyvek. And um, you can see here where I didn't make the cement liquefied, it didn't penetrate into here well. But regardless, once that's done correctly, you have this inner coating is a, a fiberglass mesh right on the other side of this cement. So it's very thin, comes out strong. So the first layer of reinforcement is a fiberglass mesh. Once there's uh, about a half inch of cement applied to the fiberglass, then what I do is put this uh, galvanized stucco wire mesh. It's very strong. It's much thicker gauge than regular chicken wire and uh, super strong. So the entire uh, dome is covered with this chicken wire. And then what happens is the chicken wire is embedded in another layer of structural cement. And once that's completed, then I apply six to eight inches of an insulative mix. This is my experimental dome I built in 2019. I had a, work, I had a workshop here. And um, with this experimental dome, we built this one using the EPIC mix. The EPIC stands for Expanded Polystyrene Paper Infused Cement. So you can see the styrofoam bowls. This has about two yards of styrofoam mixed in. This is about eight inches thick here. And uh, this was a test where I, I inflated two air forms and filled the cavity. So this had a six inch uh, cavity between the inner air form and the outer air form. Once it was inflated, we then filled the inside with Epic. Uh, and this was to see if uh, you could build a dome really quickly uh, by using just air forms. So anyway, this here is the insulative mix. Again, here's a piece. There's tons of styrofoam you can see in it. It's very light. A piece of cement this big would be a few hundred pounds. Uh, but since this has a lot of paper and styrofoam in it, it's very insulative. This was a test that I did where I put a two by four I screwed it into this uh, dome and I held a blowtorch here for about 15 minutes to see what effects I would have on the Epic mix. 
So I took the torch off once I burnt th through the wood. And there's a YouTube video. And this is still solid. Remember, this is six to eight inches thick. So this would, this is literally a fireproof dome. And this is what I'm talking about covering my, my dome house with as my insulative mix. So this dome is built the same way. This is the larger 16 foot diameter dome. And uh, you can see the entire dome is covered in a stucco wire. We've embedded some of it. So a lot of this wire has been embedded with the structural layer. And what's gonna be next for this dome is the insulative layer. You can see there's an overlap. You have a layer here and then two layers on the outside. This is solid. Now, one of the other options I have, uh, one step is I'm looking for a structural engineer who would approve this as the reinforcing structure. Instead of rebar, the entire dome covered in stucco wire mesh and, um, and sprayed and covered. So this is about, this is gonna be almost two inches thick of a structural mix of cement with the uh, mesh the the uh the stucco wire mesh and then the other option is uh rebar i have rebar coming up out of the ground like like in this ring beam <clears throat> and rebar with two foot spacing so every two feet so it'd be two foot squares since it's covered with a stucco wire mesh so i'm looking for a structural engineer who would prove just the stucco wire mesh and then a third layer of stucco wire mesh with rebar on top covered. So you have three reinforcing fabrics, I mean reinforcing materials in this dome. You have the fiberglass mesh that's first covered. Then you have the stucco wire mesh that is now covered in cement. And then the final reinforcing can be rebar on top of the stucco wire mesh covered. Maybe for much larger domes, but I'm thinking 20 foot, and smaller doesn't need rebar so i need a structural engineer to approve this system who's willing to work with me i'm looking to have workshops where i teach people how to build and we need structural engineering plans so people can get uh approved in whatever county they live in and this is the uh, ring beam setup so what's next for this ring beam is an air crete slab for my insulation slab so there'll be air crete this dome here we ended up uh, mixing up 1200 gallons of air crete so there's um like this dome here we have the vapor barrier down and then this is not air crete but air crete will go on top of this and um insulate the whole slab using air crete and then on top of that will go two inches of uh, an inch to two inches of regular concrete as a hard coat wear surface. So that's that's it. So uh, if you know a structural engineer or if you are a structural engineer and you feel like this would be a safe enough structure, which it is, I guarantee you, I'm living in a dome over there that's made with just the insulative mix and that's been doing just fine and dandy. This is a much, much stronger dome because of the reinforcing fabric, the mesh, and the reinforcing concrete mix that's super strong. Um, and again, this is going to get six to eight inches of insulative mix. Anyway, that's it. If you know someone, please share this with them. Uh, we're looking for a structural engineer who's progressive enough to see that this is a safe structure and that you'd be helping many many people who want to build the same way because this is a very fast way to build it's safe it's super strong and it's super insulative and it's fireproof i mean come on anyway that's it this is air Cree harry peace out we're looking for that structural engineer who'll give a stamp of approval for this building method Peace out.
contact me, aircreeharry at gmail.com. Also visit aircreeharry.com website for foam generators, dome, dome calculators, air forms, and a whole bunch of other different things.